I'm excited about this. I am putting the finishing touches on our live stream background for our live stream studio. And Kayla and I want to be doing live streams for you guys um, as often as we can. Right now, we're going to be doing uh, three Fridays a month at 1 p.m. So if you want to join us for the conversation, talk about dogs, talk about dog training, um, talk about you know anything related to spending quality time with your four-legged family member, then check us out on those Fridays. But I just got back from uh, one of our grade one classes that I was teaching, and I had an interesting conversation with one of our students. Today I want to talk to you, I'm going to share, you, share that experience with you, but I'm also going to talk to you a little bit about the value of dog obedience training and how, you know, it's not just to save you some embarrassment that your dog jumps on your neighbor. It could change the course of your dog's life. I'm Ken Steep and welcome back to McCann Dogs. Now, sometimes when we think about dog training and the reason we train our dog is maybe our motivation is to, you know, so they don't make a mess in the house or they don't chew on the things they're not supposed to or maybe so that they're not pulling us down the street when we go for a walk. But, you know, that those are all great reasons to train your dog. But there's also a more important reason and I'm going to share Doreen's story with you guys right now. You told me a really interesting story at the beginning of class today and why don't you tell uh, our YouTube audience about that story because I think this is something that can happen to anyone. Mm -hmm, absolutely it could. Well, I was walking my dog towards a busy street and um, normally I like to take her there because she jumps in traffic. So I'm heading towards there. And I realized that she was, we were one block away from the street. She was two cement squares ahead of me. And I thought, why is she over there? You know, my right. leash is not that long. Yep. And then I realized that the leash had come undone from her collar. Yeah. So my heart went up into my throat immediately. Sure. And I called her name. I called Rosie and she turned and stopped and looked at me. And I thought, thank God. And then I, went up to her and clipped her collar on yeah and um, you know but if I hadn't known if I hadn't practiced the Rosie yeah and for her to stop yep I thought that was absolutely amazing. Yeah, and I mean, that's after, that was maybe yeah. lesson four. You'd done four lessons with yeah. us or something in our grade one program. Because yeah. uh, Rosie yeah. and Doreen are, are students in our grade yeah. one program. And, uh, you know, the is, response to name is such an important skill. Yeah. And that's a perfect example of, you know, having a really reliable response to name. It right. can be a lifesaver. Right, absolutely. And it was a lifesaver because if she had continued on and got in that traffic, she would have been dead because it's such a busy road. Yeah, yeah. So I was so very pleased that she stopped. She stopped and turned and looked at me, just like she did in the kitchen. Yeah. And I thought, thank God. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So you so, guys, you guys at yeah. home, remember, work on that response yeah, to name skill because it can be a lifesaver. It can. You know, I think that scenario that Doreen shared isn't a terribly uncommon one. Uh, we have um, uh, professional dog trainers in our office that answer the phones six days a week and help people with all sorts of problems. And they also get phone calls of, from students who say, you wouldn't believe it, my dog was chasing a deer and because of our recall, the, my dog turned around, uh, ran right back or, you know, uh, we were at a friend's house and uh, my dog uh, uh, ran out the gate off leash and I yelled over the fence, come, and they turned around and they, you know, uh, didn't head out onto the road. Like these skills are so important. We often talk on our YouTube channel about, you know, some of the relationship building skills and, and listening skills. And we, we have all sorts of ways to spend quality time with your dog. But I feel like sometimes some of the skills that you really need to work towards uh, need a more personal touch. Um, and after I talked to what, our in-class student, Doreen, I thought, what can I do for our YouTube audience? Because I spend so much time with you guys. So I talked to instructor Shannon about what we could do for our YouTube audience so that you guys could have access to that same training so that you could have those dogs who listen and, and are responsive and, and you know, turn the first time every time you call come. And uh, I've come up with a pretty cool um, offer for, for our YouTube audience. Now don't tell our Facebook followers. I'm gonna post a link to my dog can in the description below and you guys can check it out and you can actually take the first lesson for free. And uh, you know, go check it out. There's over 40 videos in that program. There are three main components. They are walk in a loose leash, the recall and uh, stationary skills or the stay skill. So our YouTube subscribers are gonna get a coupon code and that coupon code, I'll place it below me in the bottom of the frame here. It's YouTube MDC. 
There's also a bunch of other core videos, things like leave it, having a leave it, you know, when you're out walking on the sidewalk, for example, and you, you come across something that's gross. You can tell your dog to leave it and they'll leave it alone. They'll check back in with you. But in this scenario with the My Dog Can, you also get access to our private Facebook group with, uh, you know, there's a, a bunch of our trainers are on that group as well as the current My Dog Can students. So we can personalize, you know, your experience. We can personalize some of the things you're doing specifically to you or specifically to your dog. Um, as well as just if you have any unusual training questions, you can ask them there. But the other really great thing about our My Dog Can program is you can call our office. You know, we have professional dog trainers waiting to take your call, um, answering questions, giving you feedback, giving you advice um, about your dog and about your training situation. So if you're a My Dog Can student, you can give them a phone call, but you can also email them. It, it's really a, a, an amazing setup. So uh, you guys will get that 10% off if you enter the coupon code YouTube MDC. But if you just want to go check out the program, it's in the description below. You know, this experience today after talking to Doreen um, with Rosie, it really reinforced for me that you know, your obedience skills aren't just so that you're not frustrated when you go for a walk. That's an absolute benefit, but it can truly change your dog's life. It can, it can keep them safe. And that's peace of mind, in my opinion. You know, having dogs that uh, listen so well, uh, not only is it, uh, does it keep, um, you know, the peace in our household, but it also makes me feel confident when we go out that, you know, I'm not gonna run into a scenario that could potentially be pretty dangerous for my dog. So I know this was a short one today, but I thought it was a really important message. And if this is your first time on the channel, we publish videos every single week to help you spend some quality time with your four-legged family member. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Beside me is a video from one of our last live streams, and I can't wait to see you guys in our next live stream. You can check out this cool setup. On that note, I'm Ken. Happy training.